All right. Well, my name is Elmo Jones, and I'm here with Mr. Chaffee. Chef? Yeah, uh, Chaffee. Chaffee? Yes. Okay. My first question to you is, who would you identify as important teachers, role models, or significant figures you encountered while in college? While in college? Well, I'd have to say probably in my my master's program. Uh, I got my master's of library and information science at the University of Kentucky. And um, I landed an internship with the Public Policy Archive. And uh, the gentleman that I worked with, Jeff, Jeff Suhanek, was the head of the department. And he was responsible for all the collection development. What that meant was is that he was the guy that actually went out and looked for manuscript collections, personal collections, but he would also go out and do oral history interviews with people that were politically uh, uh, important to the state of Kentucky and so you know he really instilled this 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 love of history and the um, you know obtaining the skill set to want to be able to go ahead and collect that information as well and uh, make that information available for other people to use not only for their own research but to help preserve you know the history of, of a culture of a state of a city of an organization right. So I'd have to say, in my college experience, he, he was he was probably probably my, my most influential figure. Okay. okay. And do you feel like the environment you grew up in was a positive impact on your view of life? Has a positive impact? I'd have to say yes. Um, I, I grew up in the state of Wyoming, which is at this point it's it's the smallest state in terms of population. So, which is good for some things because it's it's low. Uh, there's very low pollution, uh, crime rate is not that high, but on the downside, there's very little industry. So um, it was positive in that it was it was it was a great environment to grow up in in terms of kind of a, a, a very quiet and rural area. Right. But but because I needed to get out of those confines in order to you know pursue a career that 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 I wanted that I wanted to do something that wasn't going to be available available to me in that state right. that also had the impact in a positive sense of um, you know I'm kind of pushing me to you know get outside my comfort zone right. and, and um, outside the uh, uh, outside the city limits and what advice would you give to young people today well I'd say number one set some goals okay. and take your time doing so you you I think it's important that you know to you know to try to do things when you're young, and by that I mean not only getting an education, but you also want to get some life experience as well. You don't, you know, Rome was not built in the day. I don't think you necessarily have to confine yourself to a, to a traditional four-year degree. Our education is going to be ongoing. The average student is going to change majors at least once, and I I think it's I I think it's a good idea, you know give yourself that opportunity to do some exploring, but you still want to have an end goal in sight. So, you know, you want to you want to have that goal, I want a degree by the time I'm 25. Okay. I want to get a master's degree. I want to get a PhD. I want to work in a certain industry. So, you know, you, you, want, you want to set the goals, but just keep in mind, everybody has different paths. And so, you know, your path may take a little longer than, than other people, okay. and that's okay. Right. And do you think HBCUs are important? Absolutely, wow. absolutely. They, they absolutely they that they are important because, especially in in our country, there are no other institutions that are like HBCUs. To have a university that is that that is centered around an experience, around a culture, around a history, we really don't have that in this country with 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 any other ethnic ethnic groups. Most of our most of our colleges are going to be mixed in some form or fashion, but HB, HBCUs are really unique in that in that aspect. The other thing too is that that a lot of the a lot of HBCUs are they're younger institutions, and so they're still growing. Mm -hmm. For instance, you know Texas Southern has only been around since the 1920s, and so our history is still emerging, and our culture is still emerging along with us. Right. So our school is changing. The look of it is changing, but those core values and the core history is still there. Right. And I think if we didn't, if this school was not in HBCU, it certainly would would not be the same experience. Not only for not only for our students, but but for the community that we sit in. Right. 
Sure. You know, because the community has also has also changed along with us. All right. And one last question: um, What members stick out most, and how did you prepare for where you are now? Hmm. And what members? By memories, I mean like what memories stuck out in your college career. Well, <laughs> I remember being <laughs> I remember being very I remember being very very scared my first year of college because okay. it was a new experience. I wasn't sure. I wasn't always sure if I was doing the right thing. Um, and I would have to say that, you know, reaching out to people around me and finding friends to lean on and, you know, learning how to go and talk to my professors and, you know, other organizations on campus to really help me figure out, you know, what this whole college experience was about. That was, I mean, it was, it was a big part of what, what, what shaped my college experience and, you know, for, for my career that followed. So, like I said, you know, those first, mem first memories I remember, it was, it was a lot of confusion because, you know, you're out on your own for the first time, you know, you're learning, hey, I've got to get myself up and get myself ready for school. I've got to make sure my bills are paid. I'm responsible for my schoolwork. So, you know, it was, it was, it was a big part of, of the growing up process. Right. So, yeah, I mean, in the end, it turned out to be positive, but I have to say, in the beginning, yeah, the first the first memories were, you know, I was, you know, I was scared a lot of the time because right. I wasn't sure, <laughs> I wasn't news? sure where this was all going. Exactly. So, all right. Well, that concludes the interview. But I want right. to thank you for giving me your time. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,